Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope you guys have enjoyed your week. It's uh, October 13th, and um, it's about 9 o'clock, which means I gotta knock this commentary out so I can go watch uh, some good old Criminal Minds. <laughs> um, but I got some Medal of Honor gameplay, and um, I know that I basically trash talk this in previous commentaries and said that the beta was shit and that I would never get this game. Well, I got it, and. This is like a total overhaul of the beta, and um, while it was at first hard to adjust playing for, um, from playing, you know, Call of Duty and a little bit of Halo, um, I've learned that this game, you know, uses some basic principles that are used in those games. Only you have to really crank up, um, you know, your awareness and your thought process, because this is actually a game that requires you to think a lot. Like. Um, I ended up with a limited edition as you saw during the unboxing, so I got the TMP and it's quite the nice gun. And same with the AK-74U. Um, I had some cool gameplay that I recorded yesterday where I was running and gunning with the two guns in separate games. And I'm like, yeah, well the score isn't that great, but it was interesting gameplay. So I might upload that, but for super scores, it's all about, uh, like in Call of Duty, choosing your battles wisely. Um, you have to choose a battle that's in your favor. And that just comes down to map awareness, which um, is kind of difficult because this map, I do believe, yeah, this map was in the beta, but they've kind of changed a lot. So at first it was kind of hard. As you can see there, I'm trying to drop shot, but you can't go prone, so I end up crouch shotting. doesn't help too much. Um, but anyways, yeah, so map awareness and definitely uh, knowing how to use your cover system and actually get the kill there, which is pretty, 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 pretty. Pretty good. <laughs> Sorry for the repetition. So top of the scoreboard, and th that spot where that guy just came down into that corner, kind of hunkered down. Uh, that's a spot that I chose in uh, a previous episode that I think I'm still gonna upload, and I get the kill, but he ends up shooting me in the face with a sniper. So we killed each other. That's okay. It also seems like they finally fixed the uh, the fact that your bullets in midair will sometimes disappear if you take any damage, which is kind of stupid, and that was in the beta. That's n not that I can see it's not in this game, uh, which is very nice. Um, oh, now the uh, tal I mean the Op4, no longer the Taliban for legal reasons. Uh, we don't have knives, uh, we have the Tomahawk. <laughs> uh, it's funny because the Tomahawks are going to be in Black Ops, um, and I get noob tubed. Which in this game is surprisingly difficult to get a kill with, so I didn't really get too upset. I kind of, you know, whatever. It's, it's a noob tube, and it's kind of hard to get a kill, like I said. I've tried it. Um, I have gotten some pretty beast kills with it, and um, I'll talk about that in the next one that I upload. Um, this map is all about the control of these buildings, essentially. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to be successful, but the way that I find successful is um, this alley in that corner where you see that orange dot in the minimap are heavily populated, I mean heavily populated, um, with gunfights. And the thing about this game is that there's so many players that it's gu gunfight after gunfight after gunfight. It's kind of hard to, you know, camp and not kill anybody. And this is a cool clip. Get the spray, reload, jump over, 180, get the kill. That's, I really like that clip. If I ever make a montage, here's my montage clip. So as you can see, my uh, kill chain or score chain um, has now achieved my first kill streak, which is a mortar strike. And um, I kind of like this better than the Black Ops and the Call of Duty style, where it's kills. I mean, the score is really cool um, because you get you know the score for the kills, for being a team player, for the headshots, for the ribbons. I mean, so there's a lot of stuff that can ultimately get you, you know, those wonderful things that everyone calls kill streaks that are um, actually not too overpowered in this game, uh, mainly because it doesn't bombard you and clusterfuck you with rockets, um, as it does in Call of Duty, where, you know, you're playing uh, Domination, there's a Domination variant in this game, and I was in a game where we were talking about Call of Duty and just like, the differences between COD and this game, and it was like, yeah, if I were to play this game type, in COD, it, all I would hear is enemy AC-130 above, enemy AC-130 above, enemy AC-130 above, and that's I can kind of agree with that. I mean, I know when I play Domination, for the most part, when I'm playing with teammates, I mean, at least three of us are going for the sole purpose of getting kill streaks, and you know, starting the bombardment of aerial assault that's super powerful and semi-indestructible. 
and um, you know it's just kind of a different style of gameplay that I really don't mind. Um, Dice, I I know we've had our differences in the past. I hate Battlefield Bad Company, I with a passion of a thousand burning suns. Um, but this game, you guys really pulled it out of your asses. The beta sucked. But um, your overhaul, not only graphics-wise, but gameplay-wise, is amazing. And, I mean, as of right now, I, I'm really liking this game. Um, started doing the story walkthrough, and I don't want to spoil too much because I want you guys to watch that. Uh, but the story is pretty good. And an interesting note is that the story runs on a different engine than the multiplayer does. Um, so it's two completely different styles of play i mean on single player you can go prone so you know dropping mcdrop shot is definitely what you're going to be seeing a lot of in my single player walkthrough that's just kind of what i'm used to when i'm in a gunfight with even with ai now i mean i'm just so used to slamming down on the stick that's what she said um but you know to be a drop shotter so you know i've noticed that a lot of games now npc or not you know I drop shots and whoa the camera kind of went weird didn't it or is that just me never mind <laughs> I noticed that also when I was in game I'm like well, what the hell was that it was like some sort of weird flash and it looked like it kind of zoomed in but anyways um, I know that my friends always make fun of me we played Halo Reach at a LAN party and they're like well, what the fuck are you doing you know they're trying to kill me and here I am like an idiot like teabagging nothing and then I have to explain, well, I play Call of Duty, and I, I drop shots. <laughs> so, I mean, this game, would I recommend it? I mean, I haven't played this enough to say that I can recommend it or not. But it's definitely, personally, for me, I had low expectations for this multiplayer. Because, well, the beta, I base my opinions on the beta, which was god-awful, in my opinion. But I think this is the game that I'm going to be using to bridge the gap, the remaining remaining the remainder of the time until you know I have black ops in my hands and um you know I'm not ashamed at all you know because I said I'm never buying this game and if I do I'm only playing for the single player big whoops I'm playing the multiplayer uh, I'm glad that they made it better than the beta I mean that was my only concern oh I thought I was gonna lose that gunfight but another ribbon hoorah as you can see the ribbon also added towards my, my skill chain, my kill chain, and I got another ribbon for god knows what. It's also a nice thing, you don't get uh, bombarded with um, achievements like you do in Modern Warfare 2, not that's a bad thing because it makes me happy to see it, but it's like, sometimes I feel like you can't walk five steps without, you know, unlocking something in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I, I think that now, being that it's been out for so long, and we're so close to Black Ops, all the, I guess all the bad comments we had about the game are now coming out. And these, let me just say the sniper rifles in this game make me want to punch a baby. <laughs> oh my god, they're so annoying and really kind of aggravating that sometimes I'm on a kill chain and then out of nowhere some sniper halfway across the map ends up shooting me in the face. I'm just like, what the f- But that's okay, that's kind of how snipers are in general. Um, I do like how you have to earn your scopes. And how you can't just overall level up. You have to level up individual classes. Um, in my case, the only class I've actually leveled up is whichever class uses the uh, the submachine gun. Pull out my pistol here and get a kill. Which in the beta was unheard of. Because the draw time was so slow. And it was so inaccurate. And so not powerful. <laughs> I'm just... I know I don't sound like I have a lot of emotion, but I, I'm just kind of excited that they finally fixed it. I know it's not going over well with the critics, but I mean, as a gamer, I'm, as of now, I'm pretty much enjoying this game. I guess it's based on personal opinion. Um, but that's it for this commentary. This was just kind of a warm-up to this. Next time, we'll talk a little bit more about the gameplay and how I'm playing the map. Um, but I'm going to set this up for render, go out to Criminal Minds, and hopefully the um, campaign walkthrough will be with you pretty soon. There's my score. I can't tell what it is because it's kind of blurry on my preview window. But in any event, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys soon.